Now, before we jump in and begin setting up our AVID project and ingesting our footage from our various file-based camera recording formats, let's take a look at the folder structures of a few other file-based acquisition formats. And we're going to start with uh, the different Sony XD cam types. And uh, from there, we'll look at some of the uh, more common HDSLR uh, formats and then some portable camera phone formats uh, as well. And along the way, I'll point out some uniquenesses and commonalities between the various recording formats that these different digital acquisition devices are able to encode and how that compares with the P2 acquired footage that we just looked at. So you know now that the flashcards that were used in the Panasonic P2 configured devices, that they're just uh, recording medium, that they're relatively interchangeable between P2 based cameras and that they're solid state media with no moving parts and that the P2 camera encodes in an MXF container to one of the many capture codecs that we spoke of earlier. But the Sony XD camera line of cameras, uh, they handle file acquisition a bit differently. However, by knowing the fundamentals that make up any digital data file, you will start to see that even though each camera manufacturer approaches encoding in their own way, that from a workflow standpoint, the process is similar. So this understanding will allow you to start working with almost any data acquired file format and know exactly the types of things to be looking for when production hands you off file based footage from the field that needs to get into your Avid or whatever finishing system you may be working on. Similarly to what we did with the P2 media when we used our P2 CMS software, we're going to also take a you know, look here at the XDCAM browser software and after we look at it in Finder, we'll import the clips and this is really a powerful tool that we'll kind of review a bit to show how we can really manipulate and, um, and read all these different file formats that the XDCAM is capable of recording and work with the metadata and logging and really create an efficient setup that will then allow us to ingest into our Avid quite efficiently. Alrighty, with uh, our files organized and with a good sense of, uh, of understanding of this file structure, I think we're ready to take some of this material into Avid. So let me uh, close down Finder here. The first thing that we want to do in setting up our new Avid project is make sure that our format for the Avid project is going to support the format of media that we're actually ingesting. So if I come over to format here um, and I just you know, uh, twirl down there, you'll notice that there's a whole set of selections for the type of format that we recorded at. And if you remember when we looked at that XML um, file, it showed us specifically what uh, frame rate uh, and what file size it was recording. So uh, we had noticed that we were working at a 1080p uh, running at 2398 uh, as it's rounded up. So I would make sure to click here at 1080p 2398. Again, it defaulted in our favor because it was 1920 by 1080. And uh, as you notice, it even says that it's set up as a standard for XD Cam EX. So that's quite efficient to kind of confirm for us that we are ready to set up a project that is going to support the footage that we're ready to ingest so that we can effectively work with it when we're editing. Um, at this point, um, I could give it a project name. Uh, we'll just call this. Um, uh, file base because uh, one of the cool things is well, I'm going to show you how because of Avid AMA we actually can mix formats on our timeline so we could bring in our P2 footage, our XD cam footage, our HDSLR and even our iPhone footage and put it all on the same timeline to be editing with. So I'll just call this file based, I can't type, but uh, file based um, um, uh, webinar for now and I will go ahead and say OK and we're ready to jump in and actually uh, start uh, going into how to ingest this footage into this project that we've now configured specifically for the file-based formats that we're working with today.